Um, what's going on Penelope, Victoria, Ariana and Cecile? Did we all even do something wrong? Yeah, are we in deep trouble or something? And are you girls cross with us? We're afraid so. Christo, Jahari, Violi, Fake Boris, Boris the Teeth Guy and TJ, along with Alejandro, Raven, Kenwood, Eloise, Rebecca and Jody. we are very crossed and very disappointed with all of you. We cheer girls, along with Louis Perfection, Naomi, Edithka, the Molly Gang, the Cultural Squad, the Tyler Crew, the Dish Girls, the Rainbow Maples and the other groups just heard words that your behaviors are absolutely out of balance. We have been hearing the dark true colors and the dark stories of you guys taking Andrew and his gang and the other innocent people way too far like they are garbage. We even heard you guys got useless support after all of this. We also heard words that you guys had the audacity to ruin a day out for the Dish Girls and some of their new friends along with other people. Do you guys know why you did that? Um, we had to do this just because they all knew we were acting like entitled Karens towards them and we all can't stand it no more. Well, I have to agree with Jahari. Plus, we were moving up a grade in school, which is exactly why Viley had to go to high school to see how it feels. Boris the Teeth Guy, you're wrong here. Viley has to repeat the 8th grade over and over again, and if she fails this school year, she will be held all the way back to preschool. So that's exactly why we all had to detest and despise you guys permanently so that we cheer girls could confront you guys and tell you all about the truth of you guys. To start things off, Viola, you were acting selfish and that you were actually using autism as an excuse to get away over everything like you wanted to become the sassiest and the smartest person in the world by not letting others win. Just because you're the leader of your gang, that doesn't mean that you're always perfect, nobody is. We all mess up you know. Speaking of smartest person in the world, you Jahari also do the exact same thing like Violi does, and that you always wanted to be like her since you also like to always win at all cost. And we all heard from a lot of people that you have no sense of purpose at all. And Christo, I know this is getting over with. But when you started the object head terms and that you wanted to call everyone the object head term, those terms were way out of control and that everyone else wanted to hop into that trend. Thank God the object head trends all ended of last year of 2022, even though my sister Molly and her best friend Esther improved their behaviors and redeemed themselves. But seriously Christo, you actually should be blamed for all of this. And to start the worst parts. Boris the Teeth Guy, Fake Boris and TJ, do you men think that you are a so-called richest men in the world as well as Raven Fernandez and Kenward Perkins? Wow, that is the most disgusting and the most stupidest things I heard, not to mention that you all wanted everyone to consider you guys as kings and queens in this world and you men wanted to be the next Cecile Bernard. It's like all of you wanted all of us to be praised you guys to be like one. And Boris the Teeth Guy. I don't know if you already realized this, but did you know that everyone kept on attacking you? Well, it's because you made everyone else face your stupid teeth. You could have gotten some help, but instead, you and your stupid friends were beefing and horsing around about causing way too much fiasco to society, which is why everyone is attacking you and your friends 24-7, even though we all are no longer doing it again. And to explain about Jody. Alejandro, also known as Gobrat, Raven, Rebecca, Kenward and Deloise, they are just worst and bad as you guys are, and we all should known the fact that Alejandro was actually using autism as an excuse and cries like a baby over everything like it's not even that serious. Raven, Kenward, Rebecca, Jody and Deloise are so disgusting to us, but mostly to everyone else, just like you guys. And fake Boris, Boris the Teeth Guy and TJ, your new friend Jody is acting just like you men along with Raven and Kenwood. You men basically treat yourselves like gods and goddesses and this behavior that you put all of us is really getting out of balance. We're glad that we're no longer trusting you guys, considering that you men were obsessed with you and your stupid delinquent friends non-stop and that we all never wanted to hate you. 
there will be lots of serious consequences and karma that you guys will be receiving by us cheer girls and the Molly gang. You guys will be banned from our dance, holidays, birthdays and other parties for the rest of your lives. We are also keeping you guys away from Andrew Orozco and his crew, the Dish Girls and other groups forever. Everyone will turn against you guys no matter what, and you guys will permanently lose all of your friends forever. And if you guys think that we are all giving you guys birthday wishes, we are sorry, but that will definitely not happen anymore. And we will actually replace you guys with the Rainbow Maples, the Molly Gang, the Dish Girls, the Vent Girls, the Cultural Squad and the Tyler Crew. Oh, and just like the Midnight Meeps last year, did we even mention that we also left the Cute Girls and the Fantastic Forces also known as the Cheer Forces because they were sickening pieces of trash such as you guys. See Christo, Jahari, Violi, Fake Boris, Boris the Teeth Guy and TJ? We are not only cutting ties with you guys, we are also cutting ties with all Ayandro, also known as Gobrat, Jody, Raven, Kinward, Rebecca and Eloise, and the same applies with the rich girls, the cute girls and the fantastic forces, and we all are going to have all the fun without you all and replace you guys with the Rainbow Maples, the Molly Gang, the Dish Girls, the Vent Girls, the Cultural Squad and the Tyler Crew. What? Oh my god. You guys can't do this to us. I swear to god that we're innocent. How could you girls betray us for no reason? I thought we were great friends, and this is how it really ends? I agree with Viley. You girls should know that Boris the Teeth Guy, TJ and I are the richest men along with Raven, Jody and Kenward, and you girls cannot unfriend us like that. Sorry fake Boris, but we are no longer trusting you and your friends. This is what you and your friends are meant to do, and we all knew it all along. And another thing, your families have already disowned you guys and Andrew Orozco and his crew have cut their ties with you guys because they said your behavior's out of balance. No, this can't be happening to us like that. I thought we were good and all, and this is how you girls repay us. I don't know why you girls have improved your behaviors and redeemed yourselves along with the Molly gang. You girls are just pieces of trash that don't give a crap about us anymore. I agree. And Penelope, Victoria, Ariana and Cecile and the rest of the cheer girls, since you girls pissed us off. How about you girls face my teeth whether you like it or not and that you girls can fall down the elevator shaft to your deaths because you girls are pieces of trash with no life. Oh. My. Absolute. God. Violi. Jahari. Fake Boris. Boris the Teeth Guy. Christo and TJ, are you guys out of your fucking minds right now? Why on the fucking earth would you say mean things and talk smack to us like that? You guys are just sick in the fucking heads and are a bunch of disgraceful Mary Sue's to society. We all would have trust on all of you. This is seriously getting out of balance right now. That is so fucking it. We are so cutting ties with you guys. We no longer want to be seen with all of you, permanently. Now. Get the fuck out of our sights or else your consequences will be much more worse for all of you. Wow, just wow. What a bunch of Mary Sue's with no sense of life at all. I wish these psychopaths will be locked in jail and have their families disowned their psychopathic children. I know right, Victoria. Let's go and see what our my friends are doing to Rebecca, Eloise, Alejandro, Raven, Jody and Kenward. Um, what's going on Melody, Maria, Sakura, Yui, Crystal, Leon and Ikuka? Why are we being confronted? To start things off, we all found out on what you guys have been doing all along. You guys were obsessed with Pretty Cure and My Little Pony non-stop, act completely like children who were always obsessed with video games, and that you brag how more better you guys are. Damn, that's just pitiful and childish in our own thoughts. Yeah. Not to mention that you guys took your enemies way too seriously. Their actions are mild and moderate, but not extreme. Oh please? What are we supposed to do with our enemies? Yeah. Let them bother us even more. We're innocent human beings. Well, that's where you guys are wrong. You guys continue to be for them instead of ignoring them like people would. Exactly. 
which is why we all are cutting ties with not just the five of you guys, but we're also cutting ties with the six of your friends, the fantastic forces, the cute girls and the rich girls. You guys are just way too fucking much for us to handle for. Yeah. Not to mention that we also left the Midnight Meeps because they turn evil on us. Have fun getting all the hate while you guys still can. So you fucking bastard girls want to betray us? Well, here's what we're going to do to traitors and ex Mary Sue's and ex entitled Karens like you seven along with Penelope, Victoria, Ariana and Cecile. If you guys think about assaulting us, then you guys are fucked. Now, we suggest you guys to get the fuck out of our sights right now because we are cutting ties with you. Okay, okay, forget it. We give. You girls win. You girls don't have to be so harsh on us all. Man, now I can tell what the Molly gang, the Dish Girls and Andrew Orozco and his crew are talking about. The Viley crew are really getting onto Penelope's and Molly's nerves now. I know right, Chica. That's just heartless and sad, but I'm just glad that this fuckery is all over. Tell me about it. Let's just meet up with Penelope, Victoria, Ariana and Cecil and do our retirement party in our new house since we all are improving our behaviors. <laughs>